Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, first things first, my hair is finally done. So, I was in the process of doing ombre to my hair because I was just dying for a new look. Like I mentioned, I have had black hair for the longest time and I just wanted something new. I just wanted a, a change to my hair and ombre was just really the boldest thing that I wanted to do. So I finally got my hair done. So I really like how it turned out. Um, unfortunately, because I did bleach it so many times, I did have to chop my hair off um, a little bit. It's not too short. I'll show you guys. It goes up to here down like down to my boobs which is a little bit shorter than what I had but it had to be done I had to chop off some hair because it was just damaged and it just it wasn't going to look good anyways if I were to just leave it long so yeah just wanted to uh, mention that and get that out of the way I really do like how it turned out and it's definitely something new so Let's get started onto the video. So I wanted to show you guys some new brushes by e.l.f. that just recently launched. I saw these on their website and I was like, oh, I need those in my life. e.l.f. has stepped up their brush game, seriously. So these are two of the brushes that they added to their line. This is the ultimate blending brush and this is the contouring brush. So let me just take them out of the package. These brushes are so freaking cute. They're pretty much like their other brushes, but I don't know, just the black packaging makes it look so sophisticated. So these are what both of these look like. This one obviously is to contour. I, no lie, have been searching high and low for a brush like this. I was so tempted to get that Ida brush from NARS. It's about $50 or $55 for the NARS Ida brush and I just refused to pay that much for just a single brush. So when I saw that e.l.f. launched these, I was like, oh, yes, I need to try that out. So this is, like I said, the contouring brush. And let me just read to you what it says on the back of the brush. So it says, this brush is specifically designed for advanced makeup application to help achieve professional looks. The densely packed hair and structured shape achieves flawless dimension along the cheekbones, forehead, and jawline for targeted contouring. Perfect for using with pressed or loose bronzer powder liquids and creams to create beautiful sculpting all over the face. And then it tells you the directions on how to apply it. So what I did is I just took my normal contouring color, which is the NYX uh, contour blush in the color taupe. That's what gives me the most natural shade or contouring shade to my skin tone because it is on the cool side. It doesn't look as fake. It looks a little bit more natural. So this is what I use to uh, contour the hollows of my cheeks. And I am so surprised by this product. Now these retail for $6 a piece, which is really, really affordable. Um, again, so this one is just intended to contour the hollows of the cheeks. I like it because it's really slim, as you can see. It's very narrow, and the brushes are very densely packed, which make it perfect and just really easy to just get into those cheekbones and really chisel them out. If you don't like really chiseled out cheekbones, then this product may not be for you. But me, because I have more of a round face, I love contouring my cheekbones and my jawline. For those of us that have, you know, a little double chin, we want to make our jawline be as structured as possible. So this is amazing for that. A lot of makeup artists use these type of brushes to get that really nice Kim Kardashian cheekbones. And this brush gives you just that. Now, I don't exactly love it to blend out the contour that I just did. Again, because the brushes are so densely compacted, it is a little bit hard to blend it out. I would recommend for you to strictly use this just to contour your cheekbones and then use another brush and then just blend everything out. For me, it was just easier to blend it out with another brush instead of just going with this one. Now, another thing that I did notice is that these do have a little bit of like, not shedding, but the hairs, there's like some 
some little hairs that are just sticking up. So I guess it's it, it kind of sheds, but not too much. I did already wash mine just for the purpose of this video, and I didn't get any fallout. But like I said, you can just see some little hairs just standing up, but if you just pluck them out, you don't get too much shedding after that. So I absolutely love this contouring brush. Like I said, I have been looking for one for the longest time, and I found it, and I think this is going to be my holy grail brush so the next brush that is also new like i said is the ultimate blending brush so this is what it looks like so this one again is meant to be used with wet or dry products i did use this today to apply my foundation and i really really liked how it applied it again the brushes on here are really nicely compacted and they're really dense so they're not too like streaky or anything like that. Now I personally find that with any brushes like these, I do get a little bit of streaking on the face even if I just like dab it or once I go around. I still feel like I get a little bit of streaking so I do like to go in with my beauty blender and just go over my whole face to make sure that I don't have any streakiness going on. But I like this brush because I felt like my foundation went a long way if that makes sense i used a little bit of foundation and i just applied it all over my face and i was good to go so i haven't used this brush to apply like bronzer or my blush or anything i will have to mess with it a little bit more but as far as foundation goes it's it's a really good product it's really comparable to any high-end brushes that you may have but again with this one i did feel like there's some little hairs just sticking up that you can like just yank out and they'll come out and this one as well was washed today and I didn't get any shedding from it both really really soft like extremely soft especially this one because it's more on the fluffy side and uh, they just felt so nice on the skin I love these so yeah I don't know what else to say besides these two brushes are amazing if you guys have a chance to pick them up I highly suggest these brushes I haven't seen them personally in stores they might just be online right now so just um, eyeslipsface.com and again they retail for six dollars a piece so if you guys do end up picking them up let me know what your thoughts are on these brushes I personally love them and I am so proud of elf that they are stepping up their brush game because we need more affordable brushes so that is everything that I wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed this mini review let me know what other products you guys would love for me to review for you and I will get that out and with that said thank you guys so much for watching Don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!